what you accomplished. And I just want you to tell your story from, you know, the Genesis to now and, and, and don't leave anything out and just be yourself. Yeah, certainly. Um, well, listen, it, it's my story. It's uh, my journey, but it's God's plan, as you know, right? Great. This is my I destiny. Agree. So, so um, you know, started in Middleborough, Massachusetts, and a uh, pretty normal childhood, you know, did well in school, played sports, went to Nana and Bobo's house on Sundays after church, yes, we fried did. chicken, right? You know, shout out to Nana and Bubbles for giving us the foundation of faith. They were amazing. May they rest in peace. And... Um, so everything was, you know, hunky dory, you know, mother, dad, sister growing up. But it was probably around uh, middle school I started realizing that my dad wasn't really who I thought he was or who he should have been. Uh, you know, I personally knew that he was cheating on my mom. And that was a challenge, difficult, because you never want your parents to divorce or separate. But I knew he was doing some things that weren't right. And do I tell my mom that I didn't, right? And, uh, but that was only part of it. He, he was a gambler. He had anger issues. Uh, he lost a few jobs from anger issues. Um, there was domestic abuse, unfortunately, in the relationship. And uh, so, you know, the, and it's hard when you, because you adore your dad. Right. right? He's the man. He's your of, hero. He's your hero. And I'm realizing this is not a, a good man. This is not a good dude. No. Uh, my mom put up with it for probably longer than she should have. And around eighth grade is when she finally decided, you know, we're going to separate. I can't do this anymore. And, uh, and what happened was when he left, he left. I mean, he just never.